What's up guys, it is Coaster Source here, and today I'll be reviewing a new for 2018 coaster, Hangtime, located at Knott's Berry Farm. It's a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster, and actually I think this coaster is pretty underrated. Of course it delivers Hangtime, going on with the name, but also has, like, there's this one great pop of ejector airtime that absolutely sends you flying. It is a really good element. So today in this video I will be reviewing Hangtime, and at the end I'll be giving it a final score out of 10. To to start off, I will give you guys the stats of course. Now it is located at Knott's Berry Farm. It is manufactured by Gerslauer. It is a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster. It has a height of 150 feet. It is 57 miles per hour. It has 5 great inversions. And finally, it has a length of 2,198 feet long. This coaster was one of the 4 Cedar Fair coasters to open in 2018 and in my opinion is the worst out of all of them. But of course, you're comparing it to the best coaster on Earth, Seal Vengeance, and two of the best RMCs out there, Railblazer and Twisted Timbers. And I also think it was a fantastic fit for Knott's Berry Farm while replacing the form of Vacoma Boomerang, Boomerang. This coaster is also very picturesque. It just looks like all of the like awesome all around with the great color scheme and all the elements in it. It just looks really like well put together and very awesome. Now, something this ride does very well is its pacing. I mean, it feels like... It almost never lets up, really. Really, like, from the drop to the end, it's like you never lose momentum, except, like, with the hang time, of course. But other than that, it's really great pacing. Now, it is categorized as a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster, but Knott's is actually calling it a dive coaster, but it technically is an Infinity Coaster. Of course, it mainly focuses on hang time going along with the name, and that definitely is one of the strong parts with this coaster. Like, for example, you have, like, right after the drop, this Immelman, like, version like when you get crazy hang time i think it's definitely one of the best hang time moments out there also you could say that for the inversion right after like you get some really solid hang time now let me take a moment to talk about the drop i mean this drop is absolutely awesome in the front you get the view and it's a good drop but in the back man you get some great air time there like being pulled over the drop this is definitely one of my favorite drops out there like for example i think this drop is pretty much better Better than the BNM dive coasters drops in the back because pretty much of the airtime. I mean, you still do get fantastic airtime on the drop in the dive coasters, which is great, but having a drop better than a BNM dive coasters drop is a very hard thing to do and to accomplish, and this coaster did it. And to go along with the drops, airtime, you have this awesome airtime hill, like I said earlier. Almost every time I was riding it, like right before that moment, I was like, here comes the airtime, and it is a fantastic moment. Now, I bet you could argue that, like, you get some great airtime into the brakes, which I think is good, but not nearly as good as the other moments. Now, another thing that's on my mind is that this coaster is actually pretty smooth. Something also is that the holding brake, like, right before the drop is very long. You'll probably take a good six seconds, leaving you lots of time to, like, soak in your surroundings and giving you great views of the park, which I think is, uh, like, a very underrated part of the ride. I've heard people say that it's too long well i mean it is long but I mean, it doesn't really take away from the ride but it does not suddenly drop after that holding break you like you first go pretty slow but then you drop eventually like if you compare it to a being a dive coaster you just suddenly drop a full speed and plus that holding break adds some more duration to the ride which the rest of the ride is not really the longest i mean it does feel over pretty quickly but it still does pack a really big punch now of course something you're gonna notice is that this coaster has a pretty solid theme like for instance the main like the name it refers to two things one being the main focus to the ride hanging upside down and hang time referring to a surfer theme which the ride does pretty good at you have the colors with the teal track and the tan supports that symbolize the ocean the headboards on the train mimicking surfboards which is great and overall they did a great job with it so moving on let's talk about the trains i mean of course they have the lap bars to give you lots of space which is awesome like when you go up the vertical lift hill which i love you can look back and look at the track i actually did some sit-ups but the problem is that they kind of push down like once you keep going through the course which is kind of a downside but the rest of the ride and all the elements pretty much makes up for it now is this an intense ride i mean not really i mean there's some moments where it may be a little but it's very like little like you're not gonna hit the brake run and be like wow 
that was intense. It's just a very fun ride, nothing too intense. And the aversions are great on this ride too, like that one aversion, like I said earlier, gives some great hang time. The other aversions are good, not spectacular, like that Cobra Roll is solid, the Corkscrew like element is great, but overall those two inversions right after the drop definitely take the cake and stand out out of all of the inversions just cause of the hang time, but they're all good, which leads us to the final score. What am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, and I definitely think it deserves the score. I don't really have any complaints with this ride, it's just really good. Definitely go check out it at night with the light package, like that light package is outstanding, it's by KCL, who has done this on many coasters, and it just looks outstanding, especially when you ride it at night. Even if you aren't riding it, you could just watch it, it run like at night, which is so spectacular to actually see. So that upset my review of Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm. Definitely go check it out. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. It helps a lot, and I'll see you guys later.